What's going on, YouTube? Man, it's your boy saying stories coming at y'all with another video, man. As you guys can see by the title, how was you guys Fourth of July? Um, mine's I had to work, but I don't really celebrate holidays in the first place anyway. So, you know, you know how that went. But uh, how you guys Fourth of July went? As you guys see by the title, if you drive a car, it's your first time driving. Everybody know what it's like driving a car. So this is just you know my first time driving a car. And being learned how to drive. This is my actually first time being behind the wheel, learning how to drive. Okay. Now, I was paranoid. My uh, my coach, whatever you call him, driver's ed teacher, he was paranoid. He wasn't making it no better for me. Mind you, I'm the one that's learning how to drive the car. You've been driving for some years, and you you're screaming because I'm tripping behind the wheel. But you guys, before I get to the video, y'all already know what to do. Hit that like button for me, you guys. How you guys? Day went. My day is really sweaty and hot. But other than that, it's all right. But um, we're going to get straight to the video, you guys. Now, you guys, check this out. Like I said, it's my first time learning how to drive. I know nothing. You feel me? I don't know how to drive a car. I never knew how to drive a car at this time. I'm a junior in high school. And I didn't know what I was doing. So, every day, I would have driver's ed. Like, every day in school, I had driver's ed. But sometimes, we all the time, we didn't go and be behind the wheel. Sometimes, we used to be on the simulators and just do classwork, stuff like that. So, specific days, you would have, like, a partner in class that you have to be behind the wheel with. So, this specific day, our first time learning how to drive, you guys. This man took me on the expressway. That is not one of the, the first places you want to take somebody when they first learn how to drive. He took me on the expressway, you guys. I was scared out of my mind, okay? So, first off, he had he had the girl driving first. When she was done driving, she had already knew how to drive, kind of. So, she, she knew more than me. Then it was me. He let me drive second because... He had asked us before we got in the car, have you ever drove a car? She said, yeah. So he let her drive first. Then it was me. You know, so we had an hour of class. So he let her drive first. She was doing good. He was like, all right, get out of the car. Mind you, he had a brake on his side of the car too. So I had a brake, he had a brake. So you can stop the car anytime. So why are you so paranoid? You, you scaring me, you know, doing this. So... He paranoid, I'm paranoid, we both paranoid. The girl in the back seat is just, you know, I look through the, the mirror, I see her just, you know, her eyes get big, and I'm like, oh my God, y'all scaring me. So, she got out the car, I get in the car, and I'm on a curb, so, like, I mean, it's easy to drive off the curb, so I drive off the curb, and I go right up the street, and... I'm at a red light, so, you know, I know how to break. I know how to stop at a red light. So, I'm like, okay, that's cool, you know, cool. This is going to be easy. And once that light turned green, and he said, when the light turned green, you're going to turn left. But don't turn. He said, I got to make a wide turn because I'm not going to turn left. And, like, if I turn left and I don't make a big enough turn, I was going to be on a on a, um, oncoming traffic. And I was going to run into some car that was coming my way. So I had to go straight up and turn. So I'm like, okay, I got this. This is easy for me, you know. And I think I'm learning how to drive. So when the light turns green, I did exactly what he said don't do. I drove and I didn't make a big enough turn. And I turned right into the oncoming traffic. And then, like, I'm paranoid, you guys. I turned up to the, the wrong lane and then... I'm going towards them. They coming towards me. And all you hear is, you know, the cars honking and stuff like that. And I'm just scared out of my mind. Like, oh, my God. They coming at me. I'm going over there. People blowing their horns. Somebody even yelled out the window. Called me a dickhead. All type of stuff. I'm like, bro. Oh, my God. And he was like, um, he told me it's okay. It's okay. You know, you telling me it's okay. But you over there. I look to my right. And you over there sweating and just paranoid. Like, you've been teaching people how to drive for some years. And you act like I'm your worst woman ever that I that you ever had. So, it gets worse, you guys. It gets worse. Like, why did you take me to the most worst spots than her? 
He had her on the main street. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't take her on the expressway. You know, he didn't take her on them busy-ass streets, big-ass streets. You could have took me on a, some smaller streets, you know, to learn. I'm learning how to drive. I told this man I never drove a car before. He must got us mixed up. He must thought, oh, he the one that know how to drive and she don't. <sighs> Needless to say, you guys, this man was paranoid. So, after that, I mean, I fixed the car and I went the uh, exact way after I had turned on the wrong traffic. So I fixed the car and then I'm driving on the uh, the right street, like the right side of the street. And then he like goes to this intersection right here. I know you're not talking about the expressway, bro. I know you're not telling me to get on the expressway. Do you know what's on the expressway, sir? Semi trucks. A whole lot of cars. I'm not going up there, is what I told him. I'm like, no, I'm not going up there. And tell me, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. You tell me I'm going to be all right. But you was just sweating your ass off and paranoid when I was just on this busy street right here. And expressway is going to be worse. So, you know, in the expressway, you guys, you got all them turns. You got all the sections and stuff like cars coming from here, from there. I was just like, I don't know if every state expressway is the same, but in Chicago, our expressway is like, we got different, like, different cuts where everybody can just come out of and go in and stuff like that. And I'm just like, bro, you see all these cars? My heart was really pounding. I'm, it was like really pounding. And I'm telling him like, I'm scared, bro. I'm scared. And then she like, I'm the girl in the back was like, I'm scared too. And stuff like that. And then, like, we went on expressway. Expressway was actually, it was hard because when I was supposed to turn, I turned right into this big-ass truck. Like, when I turned, I turned into this big-ass semi-truck. And he was just, he was sitting at the red light. So I turned on a, um, I turned on the side where they, they was at the red light, but I wasn't. So I turned right in front of this truck. And he was just sitting there looking at me. We was looking at each other like eye to eye. Like he's staring at me. I'm staring at him. And then I just had to back up, put it in reverse, and get in my right lane. And I told him never again. You know, I'm 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 getting the driver's I'm going to another driver's ed school. Um the driver's ed school was in my school, but the teacher just sucked. So I stopped going to the class. And I picked up a driver's ed school outside of the school who taught me, you know, better than he did. Because, like, why are you taking me on an expressway? And why busy streets, expressways with all the cars, you trying to get us killed? Because you know I don't know how to drive. And you trying to get us killed by taking me on the expressway on all these busy streets. I said I never drove a car before. You, this is the best way. And... <laughs> Yo, I almost, I almost smacked him, told him to wake up because it's not the best way. So he let me drive. Um, the rest of the way was pretty, I mean, good. Like I kept keeping straight is good. The only thing I had problems with um, learning how to drive was turning. Like I could keep straight. I know how to steady keep straight and I know how to go by, you know, the speed limit. I don't go over the speed limit and not too slow on the speed limit. I can... You know, I was I knew how to do that when I was learning how to drive. The only thing was was the turning. I turn not enough or I will overturn. And that's the thing I had a problem with. I never really had a problem with anything like, you know, pushing too much on the accelerator and, you know, moving a car. I never had a problem with anything but turning. And when he told me to turn, I just like, you know, oh my god, I got to turn. So but I got better with turning, but not with him, with somebody else. And then he happened to tell, ask me in the hallway one day, why don't you come to class no more? What do you mean, why don't I come to class? Why do you still teach? Is It's what I wanted to ask him, because you tried to kill me the other day. And I told him, like, I'm not coming back to this classroom. Like, I really got into an um, altercation, not an altercation, like an argument, well, altercation argument with this man, because you don't take me on an expressway. Me learning how to drive, you took me on the expressway in the busy streets. And the girl, she was on the small streets. And, you know, that's the stuff I should have been doing. She should have been doing this right here. 
And so he's like, it's the first time for everything. Nah, bro, you just don't like me. And you had me on the stress with you trying to kill me, you, and her. So me and the girl I was talking after class. And we was like, yeah, he shouldn't have did that stuff like that. She was like, I can teach you how to drive. How you gonna teach me how to drive when you don't know how to drive like that? But you guys, I know how to drive now. I know I'm straight. You know, I'm good. I, I can drive. That was my junior year of high school. So, and then, like... It was just like rough because, bro, why would you take me on the expressway? Like, why? You guys, I was so paranoid. I was scared. I was dripping sweat. My sh I think, I ain't even gonna lie. I think I got musty. Um, my underarms was sweating. I, and that's why I always bring Deodorant to school for stuff like that. Just to put it on because, like, he had me scared. Like, my whole body was sweating. It was already hot in the car. I told him to turn the air on because I'm hot. You know, turn the music off. He had music playing. I'm turn it off. I need to concentrate because you got me going all over the world. I want to go back to the school. So we drove back to the school after we get off the expressway. And that was it. My grade I got on that day because he gave us different grades each day. The grade I got was a C plus. Bro, you should have gave me an F because I did terrible. And if I graded him, he'd get an F minus. I know y'all never heard of that. He'd get an F minus. Is there an F minus? I've never seen somebody with F minus. But if it is, I would have gave him an F minus because of the fact you took me on the expressway and on these busy streets. But you guys, that's the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. That's my, I got some crazy story times, you guys. And, you know, it's from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you more than y'all for even listening to my story time. I appreciate each and every one of you guys, honestly. But, um, you guys, I hope you guys have a good day. Um, be cautious wherever you are because we got dumbasses out here doing dumb shit. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Like I said, don't forget to like the video. And if you are new to my channel, check out my old content. You know, if you're not new to the channel, just check out my old content, the videos you haven't seen. And I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for the third time. And this your boy, Insane Stories, and I'm out, you guys.